Flippin' Fighter. It's the 4.5 generation fighter aircraft with multi row and swing row capability. Network centric operation capability make the equipment suitable for our force modernization to achieve our goal and vision of becoming quality air force. The capability to use several weapon systems both in our inventory and modernized weapons such as the RST and Meteor as well as the anti ship missile RBF 15 will make the equipment our major fighting force in the near future. เครื่องบินกริฟเฟนเป็นเครื่องบินขับไล่ในประสงค์ยุคที่ 4.5 มีความคล่องตัวสูงสามารถปฏิบัติภารกิจได้หลายหลากหลายรูปแบบขีดความสามารถในการปฏิบัติภารกิจในระบบเครือข่ายผ่านระบบเชื่อมโยงข้อมูลทางยุทธวิธีส่งผลให้กริฟเฟนเป็นเครื่องบินขับไล่ที่มีความเหมาะสมสําหรับการพัฒนาไปสู่การเป็นกองทัพอากาศคุณภาพขีดความสามารถในการใช้วุฒิได้หลากหลายรูปแบบทางวุฒิที่มีกองทัพอากาศมีประจำการอยู่แล้วและวุฒิวิถีสมัยใหม่ที่ได้รับการพัฒนาขึ้นเช่นจรวดนักวิถีอากาศสุอากาศไอริสทีและเมทีโอและจรวจโจมตีเรือผีน้ำ a b s 15จะทำให้กริฟเฟนเป็นเครื่องบินขับไล่ที่เป็นกำลังหลักและเคี่ยวแลบสำคัญของกองทัพอากาศในอนาคตครับซาบ delivers advanced solutions for the defense market our systems are fully modular giving the highest freedom of choice The Saab Eri surveillance system is the most modern tactical surveillance system in operation today, suitable for both air and sea surveillance. A complete solution for integrating an airborne early warning system with any existing environment, offering great operational flexibility, giving superior situation awareness. The heart of the Saab Eri surveillance system is the Eri Active Phased Array radar. It has continuously evolved over the last two decades and been in operational use for more than 10 years. It's extremely resistant to jamming and works extremely well in dense electronic warfare environments with heavy radar clutter against targets at low altitudes. The system is designed for round-the-clock operation based on a regional aircraft with long endurance, high reliability, and quick turnaround times, resulting in the most cost-effective system. It can be in operation within minutes from takeoff. In the aircraft's command and control center, the operators work together as a team. The system is role-based, so an operator can use any of the workstations. The ease of use and high degree of automation enable the operators to focus on tactical aspects of work rather than on the technical. In front of the operating room is an area reserved for the officers in charge and or off-duty personnel. Information from any of the workstations can be linked to the displays, giving the onboard commander superior situation awareness. The Eri radar's state-of-the-art active array is controlled by an intelligent electronic energy management system, which gives it an exceptional detection range. Thanks to the radar's high performance, targets with very small radar cross section and even hovering helicopters can be detected and tracked. During surveillance, the Eri radar constantly searches the area of interest. When a target is detected, the radar automatically focuses its energy on it. The surveillance is continued, and targets are individually updated relative to their maneuvering. The radar has eight modes. It automatically and efficiently switches between them, giving the system true multi-role capabilities. Apart from the radar, the aircraft is also equipped with a signal intelligence system based on the latest technology, providing the highest sensitivity and precise direction findings. The SIGINT complements the Eri radar as it can detect targets well beyond the radar's range and assign the radar to search in the given direction. The SIGINT is also connected to the aircraft's self-protection system, which includes chaffs and flares. If homing radars or IR-guided missiles are detected, countermeasures are automatically activated. Information from all onboard sensors is integrated into a total air and sea situational picture. 
This is sent via the ground radio site GRS to the reporting center system RCS. In the RCS world-class data fusion engine, the picture is complemented with information from other sensors. The result is then sent back to the aircraft, to the air operating center and other subscribers. All functionality of the Airborne Command and Control Center can be remotely controlled from the RCS, whereby no operators are required on board the aircraft. Thanks to its modular design, the RCS can evolve to a complete C4I solution, enabling a progressive upgrade from legacy systems to a future network-based system. During the mission, aircraft and sensor data is recorded. After flight, the information is analyzed in the mission support system and threat libraries are updated based on ESM recordings. The result of the analysis is used when planning coming missions. Training and education is vital to take full advantage of the system's capabilities, and the Saab ERI surveillance system comes with a total training system solution. Technical supremacy and modular open design makes the Saab ERI surveillance system the most modern tactical surveillance system today, ready to meet the ever-changing demands of the future. The Saab ERI surveillance system. Extend your horizon. Saab delivers advanced solutions for the defense market. Our systems are fully modular, giving the highest freedom of choice. The Saab ERI surveillance system is the most modern tactical surveillance system in operation today, suitable for both air and sea surveillance. A complete solution for integrating an airborne early warning system with any existing environment, offering great operational flexibility, giving superior situation awareness. The heart of the Saab ERI surveillance system is the ERI Active Phased Array Radar. It has continuously evolved over the last two decades and been in operational use for more than 10 years. It's extremely resistant to jamming and works extremely well in dense electronic warfare environments with heavy radar clutter against targets at low altitudes. The system is designed for round-the-clock operation based on a regional aircraft with long endurance, high reliability and quick turnaround times, resulting in the most cost-effective system. It can be in operation within minutes from takeoff. In the aircraft's command and control center, the operators work together as a team. The system is role-based, so an operator can use any of the workstations. The ease of use and high degree of automation enable the operators to focus on tactical aspects of work rather than on the technical. In front of the operating room is an area reserved for the officers in charge and or off-duty personnel. Information from any of the workstations can be linked to the displays, giving the onboard commander superior situation awareness. The ERI radar's state-of-the-art active array is controlled by an intelligent electronic energy management system, which gives it an exceptional detection range. Thanks to the radar's high performance, targets with very small radar cross-section and even hovering helicopters can be detected and tracked. During surveillance, the ERI radar constantly searches the area of interest. When a target is detected, the radar automatically focuses its energy on it. The surveillance is continued and targets are individually updated relative to their maneuvering. The radar has eight modes. It automatically and efficiently switches between them, giving the system true multi-role capabilities. Apart from the radar, the aircraft is also equipped with a signal intelligence system based on the latest technology, providing the highest sensitivity and precise direction findings. The SIGINT complements the ERI radar as it can detect targets well beyond the radar's range and assign the radar to search in the given direction. The SIGINT is also connected to the aircraft's self-protection system, which includes chaffs and flares. If homing radars or IR-guided missiles are detected, countermeasures are automatically activated. Information from all onboard sensors is integrated into a total air and sea situational picture. This is sent via the ground radio site GRS to the reporting center system RCS. In the RCS world-class data fusion engine, the picture is complemented with information from other sensors. The result is then sent back to the aircraft, to the air operating center and other subscribers. 
All functionality of the Airborne Command and Control Center can be remotely controlled from the RCS, whereby no operators are required on board the aircraft. Thanks to its modular design, the RCS can evolve to a complete C4I solution, enabling a progressive upgrade from legacy systems to a future network-based system. During the mission, aircraft and sensor data is recorded. After flight, the information is analyzed in the mission support system and threat libraries are updated based on ESM recordings. The result of the analysis is used when planning coming missions. Training and education is vital to take full advantage of the system's capabilities, and the Saab ERI surveillance system comes with a total training system solution. Technical supremacy and modular open design makes the Saab ERI surveillance system the most modern tactical surveillance system today, ready to meet the ever-changing demands of the future. The Saab ERI surveillance system. Extend your horizon. Resources are limited, but threats are not. Security is based on cooperation, and cooperation relies on flexibility. Saab has the proven ability to develop robust, high technology security solutions integrating various technical systems to work fluidly together. Early on, we realized the value of flexibility and reusability to reach results and cost effectiveness. Saab today offers solutions for efficient civil and military cooperation in a wide range of areas. For complex harbor situations and coastal waters, the MSV concept provides a brand new way of responding to today's asymmetric threats. A standard vessel is equipped with a state-of-the-art command and control system, which enables full utilization of information from all available sources. By adding the appropriate equipment and human resources, the vessel is optimized for the task at hand. The MSV can thus provide multi-purpose capabilities such as surveillance, disaster relief, mine warfare and direct threat encounter. A number of modules are available such as sea surveillance sensors and radar equipment, remotely operated underwater vehicles, missile systems, fire combating equipment, environmental threat handling and rescue equipment. The multiple-use capability offered by the MSV concept enables cooperation between decision-makers of different levels and organizations, civil as well as military. The MSV is proof of Saab's capability of developing new and innovative solutions, delivering flexibility, cooperation and security. Success in modern military operations often depends on mobility and communications. Ever-increasing amounts of information must be exchanged between constantly moving units, spread over vast geographical areas, a real challenge for today's military communication solutions. The Saab Swedish SATCOM on the Move terminal is a high-performance broadband communication solution for land and sea applications. Close to 100% availability worldwide is possible due to the terminal's four-axis design, allowing any satellite within range to be utilized, regardless of your global position. True two-way symmetrical broadband capacity, enabling high-quality video conferencing and real-time distribution of sensor imagery, is provided with the use of a high-performance antenna and feed system from Swedish. Thanks to Saab's GPS INS supported stabilization system, which keeps the antenna directed at the satellite no matter what, full performance is maintained even when moving at high speeds or over rough terrain. In the event of signal loss, for example due to obstruction, the satellite link is instantly reacquired when the line of sight is resumed. 
compact design, lightweight and low power consumption makes the terminal suitable for mounting on most types of vehicles and vessels. Both bolt-on and platform-specific integration solutions are available. Our SATCOM on-the-move terminal is compatible with existing legacy systems. It supports mesh IP network connectivity and is prepared for future conversion to X and KA band, securing previous investments and allowing future upgrades. Availability, performance, easy deployment and low through-life costs are qualities that make the Saab Swedish terminal the most competitive SATCOM on-the-move solution available. Move fast, stay connected. Saab Swedish The MSS is designed to meet the requirements of both mission planning and mission analysis. The system offers commanders, as well as mission crew, significantly greater situation awareness, combined with much improved possibilities for briefing, planning, debriefing, and tactics development and training. The system is easily adapted to different platforms, such as transport aircraft like the C-130, or helicopters, such as the NH-90 multi-role helicopter, the Tiger, or the Puma. The following example shows how the MSS can be used for planning an airlift with the C-130. The objective is to transport medical equipment and supplies to an Allied military hospital in an insecure area of the world. It is known that there are hostile anti-aircraft systems in the area, mostly light mobile units. The Allied forces include a unit of NH-90 multi-role helicopters, whose primary task is to assist in search and rescue missions. The C-130 has a crew of four, in this example, the co-pilot is responsible for planning the mission. The unit has several stationary mission support systems placed in the planning room. The system runs on a standard desktop PC equipped with two displays and a data transfer device, DTD, interface. The DTD is a memory unit used to transfer mission planning data to the aircraft and recorded mission data from the aircraft after flight. Depending on platform, the DTD can either be a specialized piece of hardware, a hard disk drive, or a PCMCI card. The mission support systems are connected to a local area network, enabling sharing of data and hardware resources, such as printers and projectors. The C-130 unit is connected to the Combined Air Operations Center, from where it continuously receives confirmed NATO data, containing everything from geographical information to threat data. The data is loaded onto the MSS, where it constitutes the tactical environment in which the mission planning is to be performed. One key element of the dataset is the Air Tasking Order, ATO, giving the outline of the mission. Based on the ATO, a new mission plan is created. The MSS automatically suggests a suitable route, taking into account various parameters, such as NOTAMs, valid airways, fuel consumption and time restrictions. The route planner supports military as well as civil flight planning. The MSS helps the crew to interact with airports and air traffic control by generating flight plans and providing information about airport landing aid, radio frequencies, etc. Much of the interaction between user and MSS is made through the GIS system and it enables detailed examination of the operational area both in 2D and 3D. The mission includes a refuel stop at a civil airport in Central Europe. The MSS fuel calculation takes into account payload and flight envelope as well as weather parameters such as wind, air pressure and temperature. Weather is an important part of all flight planning and data from national weather information systems can be imported into the MSS. In addition to being displayed in the map, weather data is instantly accessible for system components needing it, for example the route planner, 3D visualization or weapon and EWS planning tools. The C-130 enters NATO controlled airspace and is escorted to the target area by two tornado aircraft. The target area consists of mountains, mostly covered by forests. There are hostile AA systems stationed on some of the peaks. The MSS toolset includes line of sight and system range calculations, as well as dynamic simulations and probability calculations. As the transport mission is being planned, the Allied NH-90 unit is involved in a military search and rescue mission in the target area. As the MSS may be a part of the NBD network, 
Recordings from missions carried out by other units may be shared over the network to serve as input to new mission plans. The crew use the MSS to rehearse the mission together. This involves, amongst a number of things, going through the route and major events. The last part of the mission through the target area is flown in real time in the MSS. Finally, mission data is transferred onto the DTD and mission printouts are made. The crew brings a laptop MSS in case changes to the original plan are needed. The portable system can also be used for mission evaluation when the crew is not at their home base. The DTD is placed in the aircraft, updating its avionics systems. During the flight, a large amount of data from various systems and sensors on board the aircraft is recorded. After the mission, the pilot and his crew can analyse the recorded data in the MSS. The mission support system offers a complete set of tools for efficient post-mission analysis and debriefing, such as electronic warfare analyses and mission playback, summary and reporting functions. The result of the debriefing and post-flight evaluation constitutes an important input to the following missions. An efficient mission support system plays a vital role for today's airborne platforms. We have developed the MSS to be the most dynamic and efficient planning and evaluation system for the needs of today and the future. Helicopters play a vital role in modern warfare. They will continue to do so in the future, and demands on their system capabilities are continually growing. The Saab TMS supports every phase of a mission, from planning and rehearsal, through execution, to evaluation and debriefing. Pre- and post-flight functionality is provided by the Mission Support System, MSS, a ground-based combined mission planning and evaluation system. The airborne part of the TMS is designed around the system's core based on Saab's Distributed Integrated Modular Avionics Technology, DIMA. Traditional electronic boxes have been replaced by standardized and easily modified modules which communicate over a local network. The core software constitutes a link to the helicopter's flight management system, which provides flight data needed by the TMS. The TMS is separated from flight critical systems by a firewall, so it can be upgraded without interference with basic aircraft functions. The TMS comprises various functionalities such as a digital recording and transfer system, an advanced digital map system, simple generators and a stores management system. It's customizable, scalable and compatible with most avionic systems on the market today. Modern helicopters are usually equipped with multifunction displays, MFDs, on which flight data, engine status, tactical information, etc. is displayed. The TMS use these MFDs so few or no extra displays are needed to integrate the TMS into the helicopter. For maximum flexibility, required information can be displayed on any MFD. The helicopter's various subsystems and sensors are managed by the TMS, which combines these assets in order to achieve excellent situation awareness and information superiority. To the cabin personnel, the TMS functionalities are accessible through the Mission Management System, MMS. Each MMS operator station is incorporated in a lightweight console. It's equipped with a keyboard, trackball and a large display, the main tactical display, MTD. Weapon and sensor panels are also incorporated. The MMS is an airborne command and control system capable of gathering, processing, presenting and distributing information, increasing the helicopter's capacity to interact with and lead other units. The following example shows how the TMS can be used in an ASW mission. The objective is to prevent submarines from attacking ships in the fairway leading to the harbour area. Both helicopters carry a tactical officer, as well as a sonar operator. The mission is led from the command and control centre, on board an aircraft carrier at sea. Information is shared between the aircraft carrier and the helicopters via the tactical data link. Sonar buoys are used to extend the area surveyed by the two helicopters. Information from the boys is continually sent back to the helicopters. The tactical officer decides to use bi-static surveillance. One helicopter transmits with its sonar, while the other helicopter listens silently. Although simple in theory, the technique puts high demands on positioning and time synchronization between the helicopters, which is made possible by the TMS. The sonar operator in the passive helicopter suddenly detects an echo and identifies it as a possible submarine. The submarine is approaching the fairway, posing a direct threat to the surface vessels. Mission data transfer confirmed. Permission to attack plus up high. Over. That is confirmed. 
The helicopter unit gets clearance to a torpedo attack. The helicopter closest to the target moves into position, while the second helicopter provides the target coordinates. Tactical information is continuously shared between all units involved in the operation. During the flight, mission data, audio and video is recorded and used for post-flight analysis in the MSS. For tactical and economical reasons, multi-role capabilities is a key element in today's defense systems, and the helicopters that just performed the ASW mission have to participate in a tactical troop transport mission the same night. The objective is to transport a reconnaissance unit deep into uncontrolled territory. Four NH-90 helicopters will take part in the mission. Only one mission management system, used by the tactical officer in charge, is kept on board one of the helicopters. The other consoles are removed to make room for troops and equipment. The operation is conducted in the shelter of darkness. Support is provided by two combat helicopters. Electro-optical sensors and night vision goggles guide the pilots through the night. All equipment in the cockpit and the cabin, including the MMS consoles, is NVG compatible. The digital map system displays real-time information about the terrain, mission route and other spatial information. The troops are briefed using a small MMS console. Suddenly, an unknown anti-aircraft system is detected. Its position is confirmed by the electronic warfare system, and the tactical officer quickly decides upon a new route in order to avoid the threat. The route is automatically distributed through data link to every helicopter in the unit. The terrain is monitored before the helicopters begin to land, so that pilots and troops can prepare themselves. The Saab TMS offers unrivaled mission superiority and the highest flexibility in terms of future upgrades and modifications, guaranteeing that you're always ready to face any challenge. So when there's a sudden distress call to the helicopters, there's no hesitation. This is Hawk One. We'll have your men back in no time. The modern battle space environment, high density and dynamic. Joint operations with air, ground and naval forces under multinational command and control. Changing operational needs call for weapon systems that are updated and improved throughout their life cycle. A true challenge when designing mission training and tactical support systems. Systems that have to be in pace. Our complete range of mission training and tactical support systems, from desktop solutions to full mission simulators, support every need in today's advanced weapon platforms. Gripen, the first of a new generation fighter in service, is a multi-role system designed to meet today's and tomorrow's operational requirements. It's prepared for future upgrades and implementation of new functions. Just as the world changes, so does the Gripen system. We have established a development process where all requirements for the entire weapon system are captured early, thus influencing its design right from the start. All steps, from early prototyping, through construction of software components, partial system testing, to full system test and verification, are influenced by the special requirements from the mission training and tactical support system. Software tools and components, as well as the aircraft onboard software, can be used in the mission training and tactical support system without any need of modification and additional testing. The Design Once approach, common for all tools and software used to develop Gripen, assures that any changes to the aircraft are automatically reflected by the support systems.
silence! Hmm. I'm gonna pick my garden. Guess not. Inspector Charlie, welcome to the dark. Now this is CAOC. We're in urgent need of air support. Copy that. We got two units on the way. Over. Okay. Closing in, Inspector Charlie. Target in range. Close cooperation with the end user, we deliver advanced mission training and tactical support systems for transport, helicopters, and fast jet aircraft. Cost effective and innovative solutions that enable pilots to be experienced in advance, to be in pace. Success in the air domain naturally requires state-of-the-art aircraft systems. Equally important, though, is the ability to lead your forces in the most effective way. Saab delivers air supremacy through our world-leading aircraft systems. In addition, we have half a century of experience from delivering and upgrading C4I systems for air, land and sea domains. Saab develops systems that are fully modular and flexible, enabling you to buy only what you need, creating the foundation for a step-by-step -step growth. This way you can develop your capabilities in accordance with today's rapid changes in needs and requirements. The Saab C4i solutions are built on a number of separate functions that are merged into one functional and operational system. Each customer has the freedom to choose only the functionality needed at a specific time. Selected functions can either be delivered as a separate system or be integrated in existing legacy systems. By the flexible modular approach, Saab can create a seamless integration from old legacy to new modern C4i solutions, solutions that can handle the complexity of a total nation. We have the capacity to handle every technical challenge. The modular concept also gives other advantages, encouraging partnership and cooperation. At Saab, we have the capability, flexibility and real will to create partnerships with other industrial partners in order to create optimal solutions for our customers. By working in close cooperation with partners, customers and end users, we always ensure that each customer's unique requirements are fulfilled today and in the future. Air Defense C4i from Saab. Control at your command. Ground power supply. Okay. Three, two, one, go.
your mission. Observe and protect quickly in any combat scenario. The barrier to success. Finding a fast, adaptable UAV system for both offensive and defensive roles. The breakthrough. Skeldar UAS. Skeldar UAS. The world's most advanced unmanned helicopter surveillance system.
I'm Rob Hewson from Saab, down on the static display at Farnborough 2014 with the Saab 340 Maritime Surveillance Aircraft and Johan Gretzau. Johan, tell us about the requirements that are driving this kind of aircraft. I think with the trends we can see uh, today with increased human trafficking, uh, piracy, threatening the maritime domain and the safety of supply to coastal countries, there is an increased need for maritime surveillance, um, both at sea and from the air, and I think this aircraft will provide that to any customer. There are obviously a lot of customers out there with a lot of different requirements when it comes to overwatch of their sea lanes, protecting their borders and just keeping an eye on what's out there. Why is this aircraft a good choice? We think that we'll provide a um, very good sensor capability and, and operational cap capability to a uh, very, very good total cost of ownership. Since the system is based on a commercial airliner, uh, we have very low operational costs of the aircraft and that, that is a key benefit to the customer. Seventy-one percent of the Earth's surface is covered with water. Over ninety percent of the world's trade depends on sea freight. Nearly two-thirds of the world's population live in coastal areas. Trade and human activity on the world's oceans continue to increase. And so do the threats. When safeguarding maritime borders and coastal areas, the key to success is full situational awareness and the ability to manage and control all agencies involved. Today's mission is sea traffic surveillance. The Saab 340 MSA is monitoring AIS data and searching for unusual activities. A ship at sea has unexpectedly reduced its speed, which could indicate that it's being boarded or trafficking goods illegally. The Military Sea Surveillance Center requests visual support from the maritime surveillance aircraft. The operator on board reads the ship's AIS data and transmits the new course and distance to the pilot. The optical sensor is extended from its protected position. A handset is used to operate the pan-tilt-zoom sensor. To facilitate cooperation between pilot and operator, the sensor image is also displayed in the cockpit. The operator makes radio contact with the ship and simultaneously monitors the sensor images of the cargo. The ship reports a temporary engine malfunction and increases speed again. No other suspicious vessels are discovered in the vicinity, and the Saab 340 MSA continues its mission. Hours later, a situation occurs that requires the staff's full attention. A vessel detected by the aircraft's radar is not transmitting any AIS data. New coordinates are transmitted to the pilot, who initiates a pre-programmed search pattern. The optical sensor is automatically directed to the designated coordinates. The operator determines that the ship is fishing in an illegal area and concludes that it tried to conceal its position by disabling the AIS transmission. The ship's illegal activities are documented and transmitted via SATCOM to the MSA headquarters for further action. The Saab 340 MSA, a cost-effective multi-role surveillance aircraft for detection, classification, and identification of maritime contacts. Seventy-one percent of the Earth is covered by water. More than ninety percent of the world's trade is dependent on sea freight. Nearly two-thirds of the world's population lives in coastal areas. Seaborne trade and human activities in coastal zones continues to expand. And so do the threats. Piracy, terrorism, trafficking, oil pollution and other illegal activities are creating new demands on maritime security and safety. When safeguarding maritime borders and coastal areas, full situational awareness and the ability to manage and control all agents involved is the key to success. The new Saab 340 MSA provides the capabilities you need to meet the challenges out there, to anticipate tomorrow. The Saab 340 MSA provides a flexible platform for maritime surveillance, search and rescue, and transport missions. In fact, it's a complete airborne operational system, featuring onboard sensors connected to a mission management system, radar, electro-optics, SATCOM, and secure AIS, and all the comfort necessary for enduring and challenging missions. 
Based on the Saab 340 airliner, the 340 MSA has been factory refurbished and given a complete overhaul, giving the aircraft a design life and delivery of approximately 45,000 flight hours, or some 30 years of operations. The refurbishment includes a total renovation of the engines, the addition of an extensive sensor suite and a mission management system, among much else. Before takeoff, flight routes and search areas are determined using a mission planning system, MPS, which can also be used for briefing. Mission data is loaded onto the tactical mission system, TMS, and the flight management system, FMS. In the TMS, target presentations, displays and target lists are all easily accessible. The system communicates with the ground through a tactical communication suite. When a target is detected by any of the radars, the sources are coordinated and the information is stored in a database. It can then be used for identification by the electro-optical sensor. When activated, the sensor turret is lowered from its position inside the fuselage. When an unidentified target is detected, a waypoint marking the target's location is sent to the FMS and for acceptance from the pilot. As the aircraft closes in, the EO sensor's high-resolution TV camera will detect if any small boats are speeding away. If so, their position is sent via SATCOM, and video is streamed to the ground and other assets by mobile ISDN in Marfax. A multi-frequency communication system provides a secure channel for the operator to communicate with the friendly forces that are intercepting the small boat. After the incident, a report is prepared and sent to the ground. When a distress call is received, the position is entered and presented on the map. The radar and SAR direction finder, together with AIS, is used to identify the ship. An emergency signal is picked up and the IR sensor detects debris and people in the water. An SAR kit and life raft is dropped, the position is marked with flares and the rescue operation is coordinated. After the mission, debriefing is conducted using the mission planning system. Data gathered, as well as lessons learned, will serve as input for forthcoming missions. By combining a proven platform and best practice equipment, the Saab 340 MSA has become one of the most affordable, reliable and capable maritime security aircraft available on the market today. A complete system for protection and surveillance of your maritime and coastal domain. Hello, my name is Patrick McGinnis, and I'm a customer service director with Saab Support and Services, and I operate out of the Sterling, Virginia office here in the United States. We are here at the AUSA exhibition today, and we are socializing the Saab 340 as a platform for special mission operations. The Saab 340 uh, is already doing special mission work. Uh, it's been success in surveillance and reconnaissance. And basically, we are looking to uh, market the airplane as a platform, have the Northrop Grumman's, the Boeing's, the L3's, the large U.S. Primes buy the aircraft and then put their equipment onto the aircraft, their operators, and go catch bad people doing bad things. Uh, we think there's a very good market here in the United States. The King Air 350ER has a lion's share of the ISR market currently. Uh, however, that aircraft is, it's, it's, it's a smaller aircraft and it's, it's, it's maxed out. And on the other side of the equation, you have the Dash 8 200, which is larger than the 340, it's more expensive, and it's really a little bit too big. So I like to refer to the, the, the 340 as filling this niche. We're really the Goldilocks, if you will, of the size for aircraft uh, to do special mission uh, ISR and maritime surveillance. From a price standpoint, the King Air on the small side is about $5 million, the Dash 8 is six to eight million dollars. The 340, you can got, get a nice Saab 340B fully refurbished for about two million dollars. So it's basically a two for one, if not even a three for one uh, from a financial standpoint. The support is great. Uh, again, size is optimum. King Air, the smaller airplane, you can't even stand up to go to the bathroom. Uh, it doesn't have a lab on board, a lot of them. Uh, it's not a stand-up cabin. 340, you can get up, use a, use a lab, uh, make yourself a cup of coffee, walk around. It's a six-foot cabin. Uh, so there's just a number of things that are lining up that we think the, the 340, it just fills a niche very, very nicely. We're very optimistic uh, in the next year or so that we're successfully going to deploy the 340 into the U.S. special mission market.
Our world is ever-changing, and so are the threats and challenges we face to our national security. Advanced super-quiet submarines, diverse sea targets, piracy, narcotics, border violation, asymmetric forces. We must be prepared to face these complex challenges and win by achieving full situational awareness. Introducing the Swordfish Maritime Patrol Aircraft. First to know, first to act. The Swordfish MPA is a long-range, multi-role C4 I-Star platform offering tomorrow's technology today. To ensure the highest spectrum of capability, Saab has selected some of the world's most advanced sensors and systems, complemented by our own combat-proven technologies. AISA 360 Multi-Mode Radar. Advanced Airborne Acoustics. World-class Electro-Optics. ESM and self-protection. The sensors are tightly integrated and fused within the onboard C2 system. Presented on multifunctional operator workstations, the mission crew have the absolute latest information on which to base their decisions upon. Crucial to effective MPA operations, the aft of the cabin has a systematic and functional layout with a mission planning seating area, significant Sonoboy storage, various launcher systems, and an airdrop door. It is with this combination of superior sensor fit and next generation C2 that allows for multiple domain awareness to be achieved through the dynamic use of the complete system. Multi-role in every sense, and suited to operations over sea or land, Swordfish MPA has substantial mission capability. Anti-submarine warfare, anti-surface unit warfare, long-range search and rescue, combat search and rescue, maritime counter-terrorism, special forces support, anti-piracy, narcotics, and people smuggling. As a force multiplier, its ability to serve organically or take on scene command in various environments ensures maximum effectiveness. As a high-end multi-role asset with game-changing sensor capability, the Swordfish MPA can achieve more with less. It can deliver superior maritime domain awareness and enhanced overland surveillance and is easily integrated into existing infrastructures. You can rely on Saab's Thinking Edge to deliver innovative, effective products and solutions that enhance your capabilities and deliver smarter outcomes. Swordfish Maritime Patrol Aircraft. First to know, first to act. The threats and challenges of today's ISR uh, in the ISR arena is, is getting more complex by the day, both in terms of the traditional threats, but also the uh, more and more common asymmetric threat situations, such as we see them in, for example, the Middle East and, and in some regions in Africa. Uh, the need for a consolidated ISR picture on a national level is getting more and more important for several countries around the world. Uh, in Saab, we have a, a broad portfolio when it comes to ISR capabilities, ranging from the high-end strategic assets such as the Swordfish MPA, all the way, all the way down to smaller tactical systems uh, still providing high-end ISR capabilities. The Swordfish MPA is, as I said, a strategic asset, and it has great ability to deliver in many ISR mission types. Um, for example, uh, anti-submarine warfare, uh, anti-surface unit warfare capabilities, and long-range search and rescue, uh, just to mention a few. SAW so will provide the mission management system, the C4I mission management system, which we regard to be the brain or the nerve center in the mission system. Uh, it should be noted that Saab has great in-house capabilities when it comes to sensor technologies such as electronic support measures, electronic intelligence, communication intelligence and image intelligence, and tactical data links. The system is modularized and we've worked really hard in, in standardized interfaces towards the C4I mission management system just to cater for, for an ease of integration of third-party, world-class third-party sensors. Um, and Saab is constantly trying to break the thought, thought barriers. Uh, and in our context, in the Airborne ISR context, it's about the cleverness built into the mission management system. Uh, our mission management system features a track data fusion engine uh, alongside with functions to filter, categorize, and provide decision support to the operators, uh, all of which are aiming to ease up on the situation for the operators, uh, thus achieving more with less. Saab is happy to provide our mission capability on any suitable platform, including the Saab 340 and the Saab 2000, both of which can be uh, modified and have flight characteristics that are highly, highly suitable for these kind of mission profiles. Uh, besides, it's also a fact that since Saab is responsible for the integration onto the platform as well as into the mission management system, the customers only have to turn to one provider when it comes to modifications and upgrades over time. Uh, Saab can also provide a capability growth path over time, introducing new capabilities and improving performance uh, in order to sustain the system's competitiveness uh, over the course of time. 
Saab also has a flexible outlook on, on nations' exclusive ambitions with regards to transfer of t technology. So since we own the cleverness in this system, we can also decide when to share this technology. So all in all, I would say that Saab is the ideal partner for any nation looking to improve their ISR capabilities. Mm -hmm.